Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we have three options here. Option one, option two and option three. We are doing the weekly Oracle card guidance and you can go ahead, make your selection and go down to the timestamp, which you'll find either in the description box or in the comment section. Okay, so let's go ahead. We are choosing option number one here. And we are asking what is it that we need to know right now as we go along in this time? What do we need to know at this time? Oops, it's a card that's just flown out of the shot here. And we have changed the scenery. So I'm going to stay with one card for this reading. And the card number is number 12. So this card, once again, is very much in alignment with what the energy is of the moment. Today, as I'm shooting this right now, there's a new moon. It's a brand new energy and the eclipse season is, is over. We have uh, a brand new energy that's just been walked, walked in and it's time for us to be able to open those curtains and allow that energy to come through, to be able to enable a new reality, a new beginning, and to be able to create what it is that we desire. So for many of you, um, it would have been quite a few confusing, perhaps turbulent, perhaps exhausting uh, and complicated few months that you've left behind. There's, lot, there's been a lot of uncertainty and uh, a lot of um, mistrust or or um inability to understand what has been really going on. And this card here is, is almost telling you right now that you don't need to worry about anything at this moment. You simply need to be able to change the scenery, to be able to allow what is out there right now to come into your life and to help you, to support you as you go along and to trust that whatever is coming your way is actually going to be supporting you right now, as opposed to um, having difficulties or having some kind of annoyances, uh, etc. We are also coming out of a Mercury retrograde and um, that would also help this energy along. This card speaks more about having joy while you are working or while you are doing what you're doing. It's not hard to do things anymore. It's not going to be a pain. It's not like you're dragging your feet any longer. It's more like you, you have a beat in your step and you're excited about what is coming your way. It's a time of building new things. It's a time of making things happen right now. And so if you have had some ideas about how things should pan out or what you would like to do, now is the time to put that into action. Now is the time to actually make it happen. This card also talks about having the stamina to see it through the end, having the energy to begin it, having the energy to work with it uh, alongside it and having the correct perspective as well as being able to see it to the end. So whatever it is that you would like to begin right now, um, you will be able to see it to the end and see it to completion and be happy about it. And it will be able to bring you some fulfillment in your life. It will enrich your life. And that is the meaning of this card and the meaning in terms of it for your weekly guidance is to simply go ahead allow the change to happen invite change into your life invite the new beginning into your life and um, if you're feeling a bit stuck or if you're feeling like you don't know how to go about this just allow more spontaneity into your life and um, allow yourself to be led or to be you know to be allow the winds to blow you wherever it's going to be blowing you right now and trust that it will be okay. I just want to say one last thing here and that is that uh, if you feel like you, you're not sure where the energy is going to come from to be able to do all of this, just allow it to happen slowly. Give it a couple of days and let it come to you naturally. Don't push too hard. If you're not feeling this, if you're not feeling that you have the energy to move ahead or you're just not able to, to make those changes, to change that scenery, just give it a bit of time. And when the time is right, you will be able to, to make it happen for yourself. And uh, it will be actually what you desire.
Okay, and you will have that impetus, you will have that ability to make things happen, to move things along. So if you're still feeling like you're in a hibernation, you're not really really ready to let that uh, spring or summer come your way, then hang on a bit and, uh, and, and wait until it feels right for you. So that was your message for those of you who've chosen this option here today. I'm going to move on now. So for those of you who've chosen this option, We're asking, what is it that you need to know as we go along in this week? What is it that you need to know as you go along in this week? Oh, and we have another card here that has just flown out. This card uh, has the number 60 and it says blow off some steam. And I think here it's necessary to be able to say how you feel about something. You, it's necessary... If something's been annoying you or something's been upsetting you, it's actually necessary to speak about it and, and to be honest about how you feel and to allow what it is that you're feeling to come forth and to 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 an infuse in the environment rather than to sit back and feel uh, either irritated or resentful or intolerant about something. So this is not to say that you should create waves of difficulty at this time, but rather if something's come up and you feel like you cannot tolerate it, it's okay to go ahead and speak about it and let it be known. Now, this isn't always the case. It's not always appropriate to do something like that, but it, this energy right now is calling for that. This card is calling for that. The other thing that um, this card is saying is that when you do that, when you talk about what you can tolerate and what you can't tolerate, when you talk about what is acceptable and what is not acceptable for you as an individual, at that point, you are honoring yourself and you're celebrating yourself. And this is not to say that, you know, one should um, celebrate being picky, or one should celebrate being fussy, but rather to say that you've spoken and you have uh, chosen a direction at that moment and having that courage to be able to do so in this day and age in the times that we live in right now is um is actually it it demands quite a lot and one should be able to celebrate that one should be able to acknowledge that there's a, also a message here of being able to just um, express oneself and express one's anger or express one's joy or express whatever one wishes to ex express and you can do so publicly you can do so in a way that's not confined so we're not talking here about expressing in terms of painting something or writing something but being able to express oneself quite clearly uh, with regard to others and in relation to others and in in the presence of others this energy also talks about how this is a, a quick time in which this will be the case and then it will pass and then it will no longer be appropriate to blow off that steam. So go ahead and if you're feeling like you need to blow off some steam, if you're feeling like you need to be quite frank um, about a certain uh, situation or about somebody, then go ahead and, and do that and allow yourself to do that. Don't feel guilty about it. Do it and, and let go of it at that moment. Don't feel like, oh, I should not have done that. Or perhaps uh, it would have been better if I, if I took another route, if I did something different. For some of you, blowing up some steam in this context means going out, celebrating and partying and allowing yourself to just let go of the responsibilities that you have, even for a short time and to be able to join that bandwagon of fun and enjoyment and spontaneity, letting things just flow as opposed to trying to control it too much or trying to schedule things or trying to plan things too, uh, too much. So try to just let go and see what happens and see where that takes you because it seems here that you will surprise yourself and you will be pleasantly um surprised or excited by what will come your way. There is another element of energy in here which talks about how blowing off steam for yourself may impact others negatively in that others may not necessarily approve of your behavior or be happy about your behavior or be or, or be happy about what you've had to say. And what what this card is saying is that it's okay to ignore them for the for the moment. It's a, it's okay to respect that they have their feelings and you have your own feelings. 
and that they have chosen a certain path and that you have chosen a certain path and that as you respect their path, that they shall also respect your path. At least they should give it a try. So this card is to say, well, it's okay if everyone else is not happy with the path that you've chosen. It's just important that you are happy with the path that you've chosen. I somehow feel like that this reading, this option number two here, um, would need another card. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a shuffle. I'm going to go with this card here. And the message quite simply is call your spirit home. So I think here, you know, blowing off some steam is allowing you to be more in touch with who you are and what you really feel. And in doing so, you are not just uh, coalescing. Um, you're not just being what is expected of you or being as ni just nice or just being kind or just trying to do what others want you to do, but rather that you're being yourself. And in doing so, you are calling your spirit home because what you're doing at that moment is you're allowing your spirit to be honored in the space that is your home, in that in your body, you know, in your experience here. I'm giving you an example, you know, you've been upset about something and there's been some kind of injustice or you're you want to be able to say something and you haven't been able to do so right now. At that moment, you don't feel well about yourself. You feel angry, you feel upset with yourself and you don't quite know how to process those emotions. And at that moment, your spirit is down and moves away from you. And, um, you know, at this moment, when you speak and you actually talk about what is upsetting you and you're honest about it and you give yourself the space to be able to do that and you ensure that others are, are are listening to you you ensure that you are being heard here that's when you're giving room for your spirit to return to you and to be able to actually be in your body because you are respecting what your needs are and um and your spirit feels at home at that moment so i feel that uh, this card is actually more of a confirmation for this card here and uh, I think it's important for you to go out and and do that. In some cases, um, in a, some rare cases, this card actually talks about being able to work with your spirit by doing some kind of um, ritual that involves steam, sweat lodges or something where there's uh, some kind of steam involved, fire, steam, sweating, um, being part of, of releasing and letting go and clearing. So in some of those cases, uh, some of your cases, it might be that that is indicated during this week that it's time to um, do some kind of exercise where with, with regard to steam or, with, or, or joining a sweat lodge or creating a sweat lodge or just being part of um, that kind of ceremony to be able to call your spirit home. So that was your reading for those of you who've chosen the option number two. I wish you all very well on your path. For those of you who've chosen the third option here, we are asking, what is it that you need to know at this moment? What is it that you need to know at this moment? And what is your guidance that you've come here for today? This card here feels like it wants to come out. It says, dare to be happy. I'm just going to give these cards another shuffle and see what else comes up, if anything. Oops, there we are. And it says keep dancing. I feel like these cards are quite similar. In both of them there is a male and a female. In both of them there is balance. In both of them there is a relationship. In both of them there is having joy with others. In both of them there is having joy being acknowledged by others. And I feel here that this card actually quite honestly asks you to have the courage to be happy you know very often 
if one has a life of hardship or difficulty or trauma or grief, one is one is, does not know how one can be happy. One has unlearned happiness. Um, I feel like when you're a baby and you're born, when you're born into this world, you have a natural ability to be happy. And this can be taken away from you or it can wear away from you when you have had difficulty in your life. And then you need to relearn how to be happy. And in these cards here, talk to me about how you need to actually take action to relearn how to be happy and allow yourself to be happy, dare to be happy and to keep on being happy, not just for a day or for an hour, not just to go out and have some fun and then come back to sadness or dreariness or mundanity, but rather to continue along that path. Do you have the courage to be free? Do you have the courage to be happy? Do you have the courage to allow yourself to be happy, to be able to give yourself all that you need at in, in this lifetime, to be able to give yourself all that you desire? Do you have the courage to be able to do that? Or are you weighed down by life itself? These cards have two different energies. It's almost like the first energy is almost like a kind of mischievous sense of being able to let go and and experiencing that lightness of being. And the other energy here, the keep dancing, has a kind of uh, longevity to it. It has this feeling of happiness, deepened contentment, a feeling of enjoyed bliss over a long period of time. Whereas this card yeah, has a feeling of just a momentary bliss. And so what these cards are telling me right now is that the advice here, the guidance here for the week is to be able to choose a path of happiness, to be able to choose your joy and to be able to stick with it, to be able to make a commitment to your joy. So you've got to ask yourself, what is it that you're committed to? Are you committed to a boring life? Are you committed to uh, some kind of drudgery? Are you committed to some kind of uh, sadness? Are you committed to frustration? Are you committed to um, just whatever else that you're committed to? Where is your energy? Is it in that? Or is your commitment to happiness and joy and just being able to live life to the fullest and give it all that you have in any moment in time? The cards here have the numbers 26 and 31. And I feel here that if you dare to be happy, a range of prosperity will come your way. If you dare to be happy in your work, you will receive abundance for that. If you dare to be happy in relationships, you will expand your relationship. So for those of you who are choosing to be in a relationship and wanting to have a family, if you actually choose to be happy, if you choose to allow yourself to be happy, you could actually increase your family here. There's a lot of feeling of abundance and prosperity and just more, you know, uh, plenty. There's a feeling of plenty here. And I feel like all you need to do is to c commit to being happy, to commit to enjoying life and to be committed to living a graceful life. One in which you are allowing yourself to be taken and you can be swirled about and just enjoy that laughter, happiness, just a feeling of um, freedom and release. This release, this freedom, this happiness is all in one moment. It is a moment that you choose, that you choose to be right now in this moment to be able to experience that and to leave all other moments behind. And then choosing another moment in which to be happy and another in which you leave all behind and you're just happy in that moment. And I want to say that this week, that is what you need to do. You have to ask yourself, what are you committed to and commit to happiness? And then you've got to create moments in which you feel that, where you feel that happiness, little pockets of bliss. And you need to do that more frequently as an exercise. So I hope that message has been helpful for you. And I hope that is what you certainly need right now. I wish you all very well as you go along. 
and um, many, many blessings from me to you all. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.